first post. Yeah. It's just hard, kind of hard to see and relax as much as possible. Could be worse. I could have like a ring right in your face. Yeah, right. Okay, so you have a little bit relaxed. Yeah. And what you can do if you want to, you can kind of wiggle your toes on this side just to kind of take your mind off. Because it is kind of hard to relax. I think you have a little bit of tension there from the knee. So, as you have a very good range of motion in, um, External rotation. Pretty good at internal rotation. Maybe I'm just like a few degrees better. And push down. And then turn. And just pushing down is going to kind of just relax your ligaments. Because this is what I'm stretching. That's the most about the ligaments. Feels good. need too much external rotation. Like in a pigeon pose. Mm -hmm. The adductors are actually very good. I can tell you stretch your hips a lot. Yeah. Like this hip on the other side only raises up very slightly when I'm stretching this side. Like you were doing my hamstrings. I have good flexibility in my hamstrings when I do like pike stretches, mm -hmm. but you can still be tight yes. and flexible, right? Yes. Just because you're flexible doesn't mean your muscles aren't tight. Yeah. That's good to know. You can have, you know, really good range of motion and still have a lot of tension. You really don't need to go past there. Some people say 12, some people say 1, but this is pretty good. You can go further, yeah. but I'm taking a flexibility course right now to really encourage people to and to like have more information on how to teach people to be more flexible. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you need to go a certain degree until, mm -hmm. unless you want to be a contortionist. You want to scoot over towards me? Yeah. Okay. really good. A little bit up here. Your wife is going to think you walked into something. <laughs> Maybe you got stuck in some kind of poisonous bush. Massage. <laughs> Remember the first time I did the cupping? It was crazy. Yeah, you have a little bit of fibrosis down here by the knee. I don't know if you can feel that. Mm -hmm. Try not to work the psoas in the abdomen unless I have to. Because there's a lot of you know, organs in order. And I actually don't know where your spleen is. I would hate to get a call 
for my lawyer. He's like, you punctured my clients. Don't think it. He has <laughs> two weeks left to live. Thanks <laughs> Don't to do me. that. So what I want you to do is you're gonna very slowly just lift this leg up and down, right. just nice and slowly. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep going. Okay. Then relax. Oh no, you're good. Okay. I'm just having you flex your hips. I can find the hip flexor. But by the look on your face, I think I did find it. Mm -hmm. You can wiggle your toes and tap your fingers. Okay. Just relax slightly more tension on your adductors over here. Good on the toes. That first stroke was brutal. A little bit more. <clears throat> brutal. Yeah, now it can be <laughs> intense. That was that good thing. It's <laughs> a great name, by the way. Oh, thank you. I always say I ask people to tell me if it's too much, so you don't speak up. That's a <laughs> Like, you don't speak up. My philosophy is if he dies, he dies. One star review. It was too intense. Mm -hmm. I told you to tell me. So I'm going to change chain spot. I did have a woman who apparently was silently crying during, during the massage. She was what? Silently crying. Oh, wow. But I was like, well, you didn't tell me. Interesting. So your, your hamstring on the other side is, had more uh, fibrosis. But your quad, so you're just like, can you feel that? Mm -hmm. The body's like compensating. Mm Someone asked what that feel, that feels like. Tell them it feels like getting your tattoo shaded. <laughs> That's exactly what that feels That's what like. It feels like. I got one tattoo. It's right here. Yeah. Tiny too. Mm -hmm. But what they did the outline, it didn't hurt, and then he shaded it. Yeah. It's just that constant back and forth and back and forth. Yes. Oh, eventually it was like ten out of ten pain, just yeah. from like just over yeah. In the same spot. It's like eventually you're just like rubbing it raw. Mm -hmm. Like couldn't imagine getting a big piece. I have this client. Mm -hmm. He's like so professional. And then I like kind of seen a tattoo on his back. I was like, you have a tattoo? He's like, oh yeah. It goes from his butt mm -hmm. all the way to his like right collar, yeah. uh, his collar. It's this huge piece, this big lady on his back. She's holding lightsabers, and mm -hmm. it's insane. It's in color, too. Yeah. It's yeah. his first and only tattoo. I'm like, huh. 
A lot of people have said too, they have a friend who jeopardized her relationship with her family because she's Jewish so you're not supposed to tattoo your body. Yeah. And she did it to get a tattoo of Mickey Mouse. <laughs> she really getting to Disney for free. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she's the reason why I got a tattoo because she was one of the, the, the prettiest women, like in a good way, but yeah. like she, she, she is definitely not like if I ever saw her doing CrossFit or anything, I would just be shocked. Yeah. And I was like, if she can get a tattoo, I can get a tattoo. Yeah. And she is the definition of girly. But she she loves Disney just that much. She wants yeah. to get married at the oh, castle. Wow. That's cool. You know what Red Rocks is in Colorado? Mm-hmm. It's like a big amphitheater. They do like concerts there. That's where I got married. It's an epic location. It's Colorado. I'm imagining it was beautiful. Oh yeah, it was, it's all in the mountains. It's these huge red rocks. Mm-hmm. Like I mean, ginormous. Apparently, there's tons of.